The example that you see here is actually similar to one of my examples over in T's Math Live session number 17. I encourage you to check that out, but first let's dive into this problem. If you saw the title, write triangles and sometimes you have no choice. You have to use the multiple choice answers. Now with most right triangles, you're probably gonna use the Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A and B are called your legs. Those are your two shorter sides. C is the hypotenuse, and C, the hypotenuse, that's always the longest side. Keep that in mind, and we'll try to get you right here in a second. And maybe you didn't notice this, which of the following could not be the measures of the sides of a right triangle? Which means three of these choices up here are going to be the three sides of a right triangle, and one of these choices is not. Right triangle, Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Let's go ahead and check choice A. Now what you have to be careful with here is that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, the c is always going to be the longest side. Be careful with that, and we'll get you right here in a second. Five and 12 are shorter than 13, so 13 is gonna be our c. We're letting the five and the 12 be our a and b, and we want to see is five squared plus 12 squared equal to 13 squared. Once you square the five, make sure you take five times five, that is 25, not five times two. Same thing for 12 squared, which is 144. And when you add these together, you do get 169, which is equal to 13 squared. That's 169. Therefore, choice A, these three sides do make a right triangle. Now let's repeat that process for B, C, and D. What you see right here is choice B. Do you see where I'm trying to get you here? Eight and 15 are your two shorter sides. That's your A and your B. C is 17, did you see that? Don't always assume A, B, C. C has to be the longest side. And if you crunch this out, eight squared plus 15 squared, it will be equal to 17 squared, as you can see right here on the screen. So these three sides make a right triangle as well. Checking C, 37 is the longest side, that is our C. Substituting everything in, of course you will need a calculator here, no doubt about it, but working this out, these three sides do make a right triangle. Which means choice D must be the one that does not. Be careful again, 53, that's gonna be our C since it's the longest side, our hypotenuse. The other two sides are our A and B. And I didn't mention it up until this point, but it doesn't really matter which one you make A or B. What does matter is that C is the longest side, your hypotenuse. And when you work all this out, A squared plus B squared is not equal to C squared. And since we wanted the one that could not be the measures of the sides of a right triangle, choice D is the correct answer. So check out live session number 17. And while you're at it, check out www.bcraftmath.com slash math. That includes a bunch of free videos. And then also check out my question bank and workbooks over at app.bcraftmath.com.